So a couple months ago, we sent some silver off to Jason's Works, the guy who makes all our coin ring tools. After I sent it, I got to thinking, I'd just rather go there and be part of the process. And while I was there, we made these. And you can watch the entire process on Jason's channel. I'll make sure to put a link in the description box below for his video. Now I'm back in my shop, and what we're going to be doing is making rings out of these blanks that we made out of those coin scraps. All right, let's get started. So here's what we have. Here's the two silver rings that we pattern rolled. I think it's called pattern rolling, something like that. So this is gonna be the, the women's band, and what we're gonna be doing for this one is I found this Herkimer diamond. So we're going to be setting that onto it. And for the guy's ring, I thought we'd be doing something a little different. We're not gonna be using a stone. Decided to use these. Nine millimeter shell casings we're gonna be cutting down and then putting that into the ring. And first step, of course, make both of these into rings. So we'll get started with that. All right, all the sharp edges from the cut hole are gone and rounded off. And we can start to anneal it and then fold it. All right, to the press. Time to re-soften it. And now we need to sand the cut edge and look for cracks. Once we're sure there's no cracks, we'll finish folding. Now what we need to do is stretch the sides a little bit too small. That way we can get to the target size we're looking for. I'm looking for about a size 11 and a half. We'll re-anneal now and then do some Swedish wrapping to straighten the sides and bring the size down a tiny bit. done. Time to make that one into a ring. Alright, so we have them both made now and we're going to be putting prongs on this one later but right now we're going to be focusing on this one. We need to cut this band and then file it to where this round part will fit right in there so we can solder it in. And then we're going to cut this down to where it'll actually fit in the band a little better because that's obviously way too long right now.
going to take this over to the sander and sand down that little lip in there to make it nice and smooth. You know, I got to thinking, I think I did this out of order. I should have finished the inside of this band and pretty much got the right fit before I cut that uh, band in half. But it's rigid enough right now where I can put it in a ring clamp and then finish that inside real quick before I fit this into the band. So it's not too late yet. So I'm gonna do that before I do any more work on this side of it. The inside of that band is a heck of a lot better. It's nice and rounded. So now we're going to open this up a tiny bit and then start to file this round profile into here so it'll fit. So now what we need to do is solder this thing in place and then we'll cut the excess off of there. So here it is out of the pickle and it's soldered, just not everywhere perfectly. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, I'm having a hard time getting in there with all this extra material in there. So since it's all one piece now soldered together, I'm going to cut the rest of that junk out of there to smooth that band out. And then that way I can see what's going on down there a whole lot easier. So that is the next step. All right, so now I can see a whole lot better and I can see along the edges it needs a little more solder. So we're going to go ahead, reflux it and put a little bit more solder and close those up and then clean it up. Just got it out of the pickle pot and that's looking pretty soldered up. It's all the gaps are closed and I think we're ready to go. So now I'm going to do the final cleanup on the inside of this band. Then we'll antique it and polish it up. Got my ring all clean up with Dawn dish soap and hanging on a little hanger. And we have our water just below boiling and we're gonna be putting in our lever of sulfur gel. All right, that ought to be good enough. And this is what we have. So now what we're gonna do Clean out some of this antiquing with some 4 out steel wool and then repolish the inside to a nice shine. Pretty cool looking, but the thing I'm not liking about it is that's really not cleaned up that nicely. So I think I'm going to bring it over to the Fordham lathe and just polish that up a little bit more. Now it's time to turn our attention back to this guy. So what we're gonna be doing here is soldering a couple prongs on here so we can fit our Herkimer diamond onto it. But before we do that, we need to clean the inside of this out and give it a nice comfort fit. Yeah. 
All right, well, it's really rough, but that's the shape we're looking for. Just a nice comfort rounded fit in there, nice and even. And I'm gonna leave it for now. I'll do the rest of the sanding and polishing once everything else is done. So I'm going to start cutting some prongs and setting our stone. It's nice and soldered and clean now. What we're gonna do now is antique the whole thing, get the outside polished the way we want it to, and then clean up the inside real good. And then once that's all finished, we'll cut these prongs down and set the stone. Alright guys, thanks for watching to the end of the video. Make sure you click on the button on the top right hand corner of this video. That's going to bring you my website and you can check out all the rings I have for sale there. And if you haven't already done it, click on the button on the top left hand side of this video and that will subscribe you to my channel. That way you don't miss any of the other cool projects that are coming up. And don't forget to check out the video of us making these blanks over on Jason's channel. You can see the link in the description box below this video. Alright guys, till next time, thanks for watching.